race the ancient Khmer Path Ultra Marathon. It's a 230K six day ultra running race through the Angkor region of Cambodia. We're going to be visiting all these thousand plus year old temples way off the grid for this race, seeing places that most tourists won't ever see. We're going to get to see a lot of the country through just running it. It looks like the competition is going to be pretty steep. There's a, a couple really good runners coming. It's a smaller race. There's only 32 competitors, but it's an international field. And the race starts tomorrow. So we basically have one day in the city to kind of do a shotgun tour, see as much as we can see before we get out and start suffering. So we're on the long stage today. This is day three. The first 30K is very similar to what we ran yesterday. It's a lot of stream and river crossings. There's a ton of water, and apparently it's been a nightmare for the course marker to get the course flagged properly. So they've had to delay the start today. The last section is what worries me on the roads, straight out in the sun. Going in the later start, when we're gonna get more sun, it's gonna be difficult. Day three was a tough day for me because here it just it felt like I was falling short. I wasn't having fun. I was having a hard time motivating myself to run. I seriously considered dropping out. It's already hot. 20 after 8. And uh, I'm not, not looking forward to thinking about what it's going to be like at 1 or 2 o'clock. The plan was to run all day. There were many chances to slip and fall. It was really tough. Oh, this is tough. I just kept a good pace. I'm already starting to feel like I'm on a jungle safari. What's up, man? It's hot, and we have to start walking. The sun's really difficult. Your heart goes through the roof. It's getting wetter. When you're in those truck tracks, it's damn slippery because it's just this grease. I still don't want to go off it because one time we spent in the mud, more sand gets in our shoes. Well, more water. I think we're still out here. You wouldn't know if you were going to go down. A lot of water running through rice paddy, running through these big pools of water. Oh. Hey. Okay, bye, bye. It's awful. I know. I will come and sit down here. Hi, Sophie. Hey, how's it Yes. Can okay, someone give some water to Sophie, please? Excuse me. They just get some water for Sophie. Yes, brother, yes. It was a very tough day. It was so hot. It was like running in the sun all day. I'm glad it's over. That is good. I had a fantastic day. I finished second. Thank second, you. no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Rushed. I had to really bring out the best in me there, boy. Today was the third and toughest stage of the race. 62K in the heat on a road. It was tough. You're done. <laughs> You're done. Much way to go, eh? Ooh. Sophie had a hard day. She came in and she just looked terrible. Well, you're done. You all right? <laughs> that was tough, eh? You okay? Wait. The last uh, three, four hours were uh, quite a beating. F these death marches on roads. You know, I never really saw what was going on with Sophie. All of a sudden there was a big commotion. I was resting and then all, all of the commotion started happening. I see these doctors flying around. She's dying, she's nearly dead. Uh, Sophie didn't start the race this morning. Her body went into shock. Supposedly they had to use a defibrillator. Supposedly they brought her back to life. There's a helicopter coming now to airlift her to a hospital. Hold it together, Sophie, you know? 